Welcome to Foundation MBBS. Today we are going to see what changes are made in MBBS course after implementation of new curriculum by MCI and now NMC. From batch 2019, new curriculum was implemented. No detailed information about new curriculum is available anywhere. So we are 2019 batch students presenting here with all changes in new curriculum. At the end of video, major changes in pattern of question paper of MVHS are also included. This will be very helpful for MVHS student. So please watch the video till end. Let's start with highlights of curriculum. These are headings under which some changes are there in new curriculum. Heading includes subjects, duration of course, competencies, early clinical exposure, small group discussions, demonstrations, new essential things added in syllabus and major changes in question paper pattern mainly for MVHS. Let's start with subjects. Distribution of subjects is slightly different in new curriculum. Now second MBBS have only three subjects. FMG sh shifted to third MBBS part one and community medicine is introduced in first year for internal assessment. Rest things are like previous year. Now duration of course, previously it was 4.5 plus 1 that is 5.5 years in which second MBBS was of 1.5 year. Now it's 4 plus 1 that is 5 years. Second MBBS is now of 1 year instead of 1.5 years. That's the only change in duration of course. Let's see competencies. So what is competency? This is nothing but pattern of expression of topic with relation to its applied aspect or skills related to that topic. Let's see one example. So you will get an idea. I know your college has not started and you don't know much about anatomy, but I am taking example of femoral hernia. If you know what is femoral hernia, it's okay. If not, Google it. You will get little information about it. Now anatomically, femoral hernia is related to femoral sheath. Previously, femoral sheath was topic. Now it is converted into competency. So here competencies, students should be able to describe anatomical basis of femoral hernia. What is changed? Anatomy is same, but pattern of question asked is changed. In exam, you will not get question on femoral sheath. You will get question on femoral hernia, in which you have to write anatomy of femoral sheath and what happens in femoral hernia. I think you are getting the word competency now. If you are MVH students, detailed list of all competencies included in all three subjects are given in description in PDF form. You can download it and read it. Early clinical exposure. This is a best and very interesting part of the MBBS. This early clinical exposure gives opportunity to test your basic subject knowledge in various clinical situations. In anatomy, there are some visits related with physiotherapy, radiology department, also and hospital visits. In physiology and biochemistry, you will provide with the lab reports and you have to interpret the case and come to probable diagnosis on a basis of what you have to learn in this subject. This will give you an idea about how to inter integrate different subject for a particular case. And please don't miss any early clinical exposure session in your college. Small group discussion. According to new curriculum, students are expected to participate actively in the learning process. Both side participation is must. So few topics are kept for SGD. You will be divided into batches and topic will be distributed which you will have to present in front of the class. It's a really good initiative. From this, you will learn a lot. You will get idea about how PowerPoint presentation are made how to present them in front of class. This will be very helpful for your future case presentation and all. Demonstrations. Certain new things are included in a syllabus which you have to demonstrate. For example, ECG leads. You will be provided with subject or mannequin to demonstrate various ECG leads. CPR, cardiopulmonary resuscitation, surface marking of heart and lungs, demonstration of various anatomical features on given subject. New essential things added in the syllabus. Some topics are newly added which are really essential nowadays. 
these are added in a syllabus due to current affair in healthcare system these include at com module attitude and communication module to develop communication between doctor and patient these at com modules are included so at com module contains various topics such as role of physician rights of patient communication and ethics and few academic topics are also included such as cpr cardiopulmonary resuscitation brain death physiology of meditation and few to small topics are also included let's start with question paper pattern changes of mvhs university this is very important for mvhs students there is drastic change in question paper pattern ours was first batch to face this change and with little experience of question paper i will suggest you to don't miss a single topic from book don't just do important things all things are equally important in further sessions i will provide you subject wise chapter wise list of topics which you have to read let's see question paper pattern all subjects are divided into paper 1 and paper 2 each paper is of 100 marks and will be given for 3 hours section a contains 20 mcqs of 1 mark each based on topics of that paper section b contains question 2 baq that is brief answer question 2 marks each and there will be 10 out of 11 questions which carry 20 marks question 3 contains saqs that is short answer questions you have to solve 8 out of 9 carrying 5 marks each total of 40 marks question 4 contains laq that is long answer questions 2 out of 3 which carry 10 marks each and total marks 20 this is general idea about question paper detailed analysis of each part of question paper once your college gets started because if we discuss now you will not get all the things and you will get confused so just remember this general pro forma of question paper i hope you like this video and please subscribe to the channel and press bell icon so you don't miss any update and yes please share this video with your medico friends thank you for watching